What's up, YouTube? Sweetie Superior here once again with another set, this time on Flygon. Um, Flygon's a, a pretty interesting Dragon-type Pokemon. It's dual with Dragon and Ground, just like Garchomp. It's it. It gets the ability to levitate, meaning ground moves can't hit it unless it, get, it gets hit by Smackdown or Gravity Move is used. Um, the recommended nature for Flygon is Jolly, because it does have a base 100 speed, meaning... It's just, it's not going to be able to outspeed everything, but it's going to be able to outspeed anything that's most likely below 100. For example, Dragonite, sometimes it can outspeed several others. A not fully invested on speed, Garchomp can be outsped by Flygon. And it has the same speed as Charizard, basically. But, um... Okay, so just getting to the EV spread, I decided to go with full speed, full attack, and just four on hit points. And give it choice man, because it is going to be a physical attacker, as we can see. It has an 80 base special attack, meaning it's workable, but it's not going to be hitting as hard as possible with special attack. Defenses are 80 base each one, and 80 base HP, meaning it can be bulky if you wanted to make it a bulky. But, Flygon works best at hitting offensively, and maybe... Um, then afterwards, just running away from the battle and switching into a better better Pokemon that can deal with whatever it's facing in front of it. And so that's the reason why the EV spread is the way it is. And the item, of course, is Choice Bammy attack is increased by 1.5, So, but it's only limited to one move. The moves I decided to go with was Outrage, meaning you want to hit the hardest as possible. So... Outrage was the best choice I came up with. You don't want to be locked in it if there's a fairy in the other team, though. Because they can switch into it no, ma no matter what. So if you're worried about it, you can always just U-turn out. Or Earthquake if you see that they don't have any flying types. But even though in every team, there's always going to be that one flying type. For example, Landorus that's going to be roaming around. Or Gliscor or Talonflame. You can always decide to U-turn out just in case... They predict your outrage, and you can go into a better Pokemon that can deal with whatever comes out. You also have Earthquake, as I mentioned before, and you have Fire Punch, which means that it has a 10% chance to burn a target with a 75 base power, but it's going to be increased by that choice ban. Earthquake also, hit, if you're in a double battle, hits both Pokemon and the other team, and power is doubled if the, somebody used Dig. I've seen several people still use Dig in a battle, competitive battling, um, I don't recommend Dig because it does take two turns to actually hit and they can actually bring something out that can really hurt you. So, that's the first set. The second set is a Life Orb, Flygon, and I'm going to go back to the first because I'm, I got something else for it. Um, it's a Life Orb, Flygon, same EV spread, same nature, but this time it's going to be, since you are on Life Orb and not Choice Bane, you're, that means you're not locked into one move. You do have Earthquake. Um, as a move, and you have Dragon Claw, since you don't want to be stuck with Outrage for like three, two to three turns, and Dragon Claw does 80 base power, but it's going to be increased by Life Orb power. And then you have Super Power, but if you don't want Super Power, which has 120 base power and it is coverage, um, you could also just run Fire Punch, as I, as mentioned in the before sets. Um, that's the other recommended move, or if you don't want to run Fire Punch, you can always just run Stone Edge. But that is totally up to you. Um, the last move is Roost, but if you definitely don't think that Flygon needs Roost, you can just add Super Power here, or you can add Stone Edge here if you wanted to. It all depends on you, but I decided to go to Roost because you can predict the Protect, or you can predict the Switch, and you can easily Roost back up and keep doing damage on the other team. Now, that's basically the second set, and just going back to the first one, um, if you don't want to run Choice Band, you can always just run Choice Scarf, meaning that your speed's going to be increased by 1.5. It's just that Choice Band is a recommended item due to Flygon's have, Flygon having a base 100 attack and not having anything higher than 100. You need that extra power to be able to hit hard enough, and that's why you, we decided to go with a speedy nature to be able to outspeed as much as possible and make the best out of the 100 base speed. But you, you also need to make the best out of the 100 base attack, so Choice Band is the best way to go. Um, that's pretty much it for Flygon. It does have 4 times weakness to Ice, 
So watch out for the ice types. Whenever one comes out, it's best for you to just simply hard switch. Or if you predict it, you can just U-turn back out. And especially the ice shards that come from Weavile most of the time or Mammoth Swine. So just watching out for that. And also it's, it's weak to fairy and dragon as always. And there's a lot of them that are always in every team. So just you need to watch out for those too. So, um, this is pretty much the Flygon set. Um, stay tuned for the second video of the day. I really hope you like this set. If you liked it, just give it a thumbs up. Give Flygon a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe for future videos. There's going to be more upcoming things. It's just simply stay tuned for everything. And thank you for watching.